Hi guys, it's Coach Tia here. Before this video starts, subscribe to this channel. No worries, we'll give you 10 seconds to do so. Go ahead. Ford dealer, fan, and proud sponsor of the North Carolina A&T Aggies. <laughs> Dr. Anthony Graham. Let's give all of our teams and faculty members a round of applause. Thank you. Point out there is good. 
Kevin, I think I'm lost. <laughs> Let me call him back. No. How are you? Good. Hey, good. how are you? It's good to see you. <laughs> Y'all excited? Yes. yes. Come on in. Yes. Welcome to Buddha Country. Yes. Thank you for having us.
much going on. Uh, <laughs> Can you take this picture here, baby? Ew. I thought that was the shirt we got. I was like, I can't wait to wear mine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We laughed together, we was mad together, we had break sessions together, you know, attitudes together, get it together. So we would like to present this scholarship to um, two Aggie cheerleaders. Now, also too, y'all, we have raised this money to give these scholarships. The first year we raised $1,500, second year we raised $1,400. So um, we, want to we want to call up Deja Atkins, mm -hmm. 
and the CEO, McAllister.
here today because that's what Aggies do.
Brooks on the carry. Brought down by number 29, Franklin McKay the third. McCoy's pass complete. Caldwell's pass complete. And number 80. Third and seven.
Dancing Dolls inboxed me and wanted to meet up with me and she was like out of all weekends she chose the wrong weekend and I was like are you talking about Coach D? She said whatever her name is. I said y'all watch the show? She said no. So I don't know if she met up with her or not. They were already here for a show. Oh God. I'll let you do it. I didn't even feel it all. Girl thank God for out of all. Well, congratulations to you. You completed your football season of your last year. Wow. One more season and you out. I'm done.
up, back up, back up. Did y'all get the um the chicken stuff situation at the door? I did. I thought I had two. You did. Not in my name. What y'all had to tell last time? Real quick. Right here at the desk. <laughs>
Okay. Uh, we came together to, you know, commemorate the seniors of the Go Squad team. So we did a little cheer cipher of your favorite cheers, and this is what we're showcasing to we'll you see, all. We'll, we'll see you <laughs> she, don't, she don't have any I don't, I don't have any so Jessica and Tia. <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> Stay out of trouble. Just, you know, she just don't. She just stay. <laughs> um, she taught me my favorite dance. I'm trying to think. Rosetta's. She taught me Rosetta's. Um, and I don't think I have any bad memories with T. I don't <laughs> My first memory of her, y'all, I thought that she was going to be the meanest person ever. Because Coach said, all right, go, turn around, teach Blue. And so I went up to her because she was in front of me. And I said, hey, can you teach me? She said, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, all right. So I just had to learn looking across the, across the track. And then last, that was my first year. And then last year, we went, um, she invited us to her house to teach us um, the cheers and stuff. And I don't know what month it was. I think it was like either right before or right after Halloween. And so she had this huge thing of candy. And I'm like, I'm not going to ask her because I'm going to get a nope again. <laughs> and she just let us pick everything. And then we got to a point and she was like, okay, that's enough now. <laughs> so I just felt like she was always a very funny person. I'm pretty sure she was serious when she said nope, but it was funny. <laughs> so Tia is my big sister. And when I first came to the program, she's always just being really prote protective of me. And this year she is my official big sister with, along with Bria. My first, I wanna say it was my first game. <laughs> my first game, I didn't know that they had their cheers that they call only. So I was nervous and it was like, Blue Squad called the cheers. So I was like, okay. So I called Aggies got the fire and knocked it out. And Tia did a whole 360 and watched me the whole time. She was like this. And then when I called it right, she was like, Okay. <laughs> and I, ever since then, we've been good. And my first memory of Tia is whenever we had to meet during the summer because we're from the same place. And she helped me a lot. Um, Tia, I don't think I've told you, but I do look up, up to you. Um, coming in from 
a different high school. Um, I went to Ragsdale and coming to a black school, she really helped me like adjust to the stomp and shake background. So she worked with me like almost every day after summer practice because I remember at summer practice, she was she looked at me and she was like, you from Greensboro? I said, yeah. And she was like, I'm gonna work on you. And I said, okay, I'm gonna need all the help in the world because I don't know how to do any other stomp shake. But she helped me and she helped me get through. Um, I want to say thank you for that. Being in a hotel with Tia will just show you a lot about her. <laughs> <laughs> it will show you a lot about her. Tia outside of cheer and Tia in cheer, just two different people. I didn't know Tia was so great. <laughs> My favorite memory with Tia, I would definitely have to say me. I would never, I wasn't even in a room with her, but like, like she said, in cheer Tia and outside cheer Tia is just, it's just great. And then like, even with Tia, when she hangs out with us, like going out, Tia don't go out with us often, but when she go out with us, <laughs> it is a great time. <laughs> um, <laughs> great you know cheering with you all my past three years coming in um freshman year Tia she was she wasn't as mean as everybody else but she was mean, she was mean. <laughs> but like once you know she she helped you when you needed it you know she was also always a person you could come to especially like for help or anything else so I wish you well, you're a great person. I'm so glad to be able to meet you. I'm really weird and awkward, and I just really appreciate how you guys didn't really judge me and you accepted me for like how I am because people are mean. Um, <laughs> yeah, and thanks for being my running buddy. Like I remember this past year, I hate running. Evan wanted me to run like a break eight minutes in my mile, and I was running with Tia and Deja, and Tia really like pushed me to run that, that eight minute mile, and I don't know what I got, it was a good time for me. Um, but I remember finishing and she was like, good job, Slee, like really good job. And I don't know, just like sort of like validation, like coming from your captain, it means a lot. And like that kind of resonated through my, my experience with her. <sighs> okay. This year has been crazy. I could not have done it without y'all. Anything, like y'all taught me so much. I know I wasn't as close with Tia before this year um i knew like sprinkles about her but obviously like, i didn't know what her favorite restaurant was Argados, who knows that um <laughs> but i continued to learn more about tia seeing her personality and i just was able to look up to her as a leader as a friend um get her side of like her views of everything and it's just been amazing to watch you and grow with you Anyway, uh, I just want to say uh, to the coach, thank you a lot to the coaches for giving my daughter the opportunity to uh, cheer for A&T. I remember Tia was two years old running around the house. Take it, go ahead. Take it. She was uh, two years old running around the house, cheer, you know, stomping and carrying on. I knew Tia had a, go ahead and take it. She had a, a thing about cheering, but she always get on my nerves about this stomping can on. I'm like, put all this stomping in here, go somewhere and sit down. <laughs> but she had it on it because her mom was a cheerleader, coach. So her mom coached, I think she coached you, right? And I'm like, really? If I watched Tia grow from the age of two years old to where she is now, and I think, go ahead, take them all here, take them. Yeah. 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 Anyway, she, um, Tia's a great chili. I mean, I mean, I, I'd say, hey, she's one of the best to me. And y'all girls in here, I tell y'all, yeah, hey, look, just keep what Tia taught y'all, and this young lady here, whatever they taught y'all, run with it, you know? You never know where this is gonna lead you to. And T, I tell you, even though I missed a lot of your games due to my job, Daddy love you. Aww. And T, 
today, last night, I had to ride hard to get home for this. I wasn't going to miss this. Let you know. I'm sorry that I didn't catch all your games. He said, yeah, are you coming? Gave me tickets. I still got tickets in my truck now from last year. I missed it. But I'm here for you. And I love you. And coach, coaches, I thank y'all again for giving Tia the opportunity to become a captain. Because she always wanted to become a captain. I remember she used to wear her mom's jacket around the house from Dudley. Said captain. And now she's carrying the torch that her mom carried. Thank you all. Y'all be good. That was good. You were long winded. So, it's our time um, to give our words. And I would just like to say thank you to T and Jessica for the past four years. I think um, every year we say this group was special. Or this is a special group, or this, this group was special because of this. This group was special because of this. But I would say for these two ladies, it's extra special for different reasons. Um, Tia, you know, if you don't know the backstory, I have known Tia forever. Um, I can honestly say I remember when Tia was born, you know, um, and to see her grow, not just in cheerleading, but just in life and be able to overcome obstacles, being a non-traditional student, you know, and still persevering and, you know, us saying, what you going to do? Like, what's your, what decision are you going to make? We're putting the ball in your court. You have to make the decision and her making the decision. And we always say, you know, part of being an adult is making a decision and living with it. Whatever your decision is, you got to deal with it. So she made the decision to come back. And we, we gave her all these would be the pros of coming back. These would be the cons of coming back. But she came back, and it, and it was good. Um, I don't doubt her leadership. We say all the time, they might try Tyler. They might try Jessica. But they ain't going to try to. Let, let me just go back there real quick. They ain't going to try to. Let me just take it back to Hell Week 2017. <laughs> I don't know what happened. All I remember is, I really don't know what happened, but I was thinking about this yesterday. When we said something to them, oh, y'all cheated on some laps. Uh -oh, yeah. And I was like, I know everybody didn't run they all their laps. And I was just sitting there thinking, and then Tia was just looking like, I was like, I guess y'all gotta run the extra ones. All we know is Tia walked in, and everybody else walked out. <laughs> they just saw him. I don't know what happened. When she walked in that room, I was like, don't yell at anybody. That's all I said. <laughs> And everybody just came out. Just came out. I was like, why y'all running? We just need to run. <laughs> 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 but they have um, they have both been very good additions to the program. I think the their leadership styles and you bring in Tyler together, they've been some of the best captains that we've had. I wish you all the best. You know, we always say we try to pour into you tools and resources that you can use once you leave us whether it's using a Google Doc, typing your paper in a Google Doc, so if your flash drive crash, you got it already backed up somewhere. You know, whether, um, what are you gonna do when 15 people come late, you know, and you know that they were late, but we don't know that they're late, you know, so how are you gonna handle that situation, being people of integrity, dealing with things when you don't, when you really don't want to do it, but you have to do it anyway, and having that self-talk. And um, we appreciate y'all, we hope you enjoy your last day know that this is an impact that you are you've made an impact on the program and on the team also remember that you need to pay your alumni dues <laughs> <laughs> because the program benefits and you all benefited from alumni dues so promise us when you leave that you'll pay your dues um, and just be active with the alumni association and we love y'all greatly uh, so thinking about Jessica and Tia, if I had to put it in one phrase, my one phrase for both of them would be yes ma'am. Because anything that we ask them to do, no matter what, the answer has always been yes ma'am. And so that's attributed to parents, the way you were raised, because we always talk about, we always tell the girls, like you never know where people come from and how they're raised. But with these two young ladies, we can tell where they come from and how they were raised. So just thank you parents for raising so these young ladies to be who they are on that end. On the other end, like Coach Ujua was saying, um, when we choose leadership, our seniors are not always leadership. Um, but these two young ladies 
have attributes to be leaders, not throughout just cheerleading, but just leaders, period. And that's one of the things that we look for doing with all of the people that are in this program is for you to be a leader in and outside of the program. Um, Tia and Jessica have like I just said, can't make up material all the time. That Tia, she just don't remember. I said, Tia, go to the store <laughs> and get some water bottles for the cheerleaders and bring me the receipt. Tia brings me a receipt about this long. I was like, Tia, well, I had to get groceries. And my daddy said, <laughs> I mean, it was like all this other stuff on the receipt. I was like, what? <laughs> Why didn't you put it separate? <laughs> Jesus, keep me across. So we have had these many years of just dealing with these young ladies and watching them grow. It's always like I am the mother of boys. So I would never have that and I ain't having them on kids. So, um, Praise the Lord. you ladies in this program are like my daughters, my nieces, and everything that we can pour, that I will pour into my nieces. I talk to y'all the same way I talk to my children and they know. <laughs> um, when she talked to her niece, everybody get talked to the same way. I don't discriminate. They get cussed out right. just like everybody else does. So they know my love for them is really genuine. Like it, it is. It's a different type of love. They know I'm not an emotional hug and kissing type of person. But <laughs> Asia, I'm punch in the face. <laughs> <laughs> but she, I, you know, we have, you know, every now we pull people to the side. We had these conversations, but it's up to you to do what you're gonna do with the conversation. And we told you, you would not be on this team. She wouldn't have been a captain this year. She would have been a captain last year, not this year, had she not thrown that back handspring. It wasn't pretty. But she came but she and she did it. And so if you don't live your life any type of way, you should live it as a testimony to others. So not being um, willing to give up for other things. Everybody has experience being the new girl on the team and persevere at that. Everybody goes through a cycle of life and then you come out on the other end, hopefully greater than the way you started. So as you leave this program, just think about those trials and tribulations, those things that we experience from, like Coach Dwight said, Google Docs, presentations. Don't just give 100% here. Give it in life, give more than that. Because everybody's going to be trying to give the 100%. So what can you do that's going to make you better and set you apart? And we as Aggie cheerleaders, that's what we try to do is set ourselves apart. Love y'all. Yes. Is my hand right now? I can't see I'm sorry. I was just joking. I was just joking. <laughs> Candy. Yes. Oh. Thanks, guys. <laughs>
for the football and men's basketball team. Two senior managers for the men's team. Imani Austin is from Long Island, New York, and has been a manager for the men's basketball team for two years. She's a sports science expert.
Hey, man. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. 